It's Women of Honor Wednesday, Ian Riccoboni, Bruno Bob Evans, and Bob, a huge four-corner survival match here tonight in the place where Women of Honor was reborn. Baltimore, Maryland, I got my Wicked Smart glasses on just like you. I'm excited about this one, can't wait to see it. And we'll take it to Bobby Cruz for our introductions. This is a Women of Honor Wednesday four-corner survival match, set for one fall. Participant number one, Faye Jackson. And Bob, here you see a young lady named Faye Jackson, who we know very well, just about a year, a little bit over a year in in-ring competition, but making waves here in Women of Honor. Faye Jackson knows how to move it. She's, I would say she's probably the biggest competitor in this match. And if she can use her weight and size to her advantage, I think that'll make up for her experience issue. We do know she likes to go to that triple spun milkshake. Absolutely. And we know that she hits the chocolate thunder. Very charismatic superstar. Can't wait to see her again. Big opportunity for her, looking for her, her first singles victory here in Women of Honor. Competed here in tag team action with Sumi Sakai back in October in this very building. But our next competitor has been a woman making waves all around the globe. Participant number two, wrestling on Hackettstown, New Jersey, Diana Perrazzo. Diana Perrazzo, we're welcoming her back from a successful tour of stardom and at Supercard of Honor weekend came within an eyelash of defeating Kelly Klein. In fact, tapped her out while the referee was down. I, I, one of the few things, good things out of New Jersey is this lady right here. Hey, be careful. My wife's from New Jersey, Bob. We saw I the, said a few good things. We saw the Fujiwara armbar from the virtuosa of Women of Honor. And I know that she has Kelly Klein on her mind after coming that close to defeating sure her. Sure she does. Kelly Klein, undefeated superstar here in Women of Honor. We'll see if that comes into play here tonight. Participant number three, wrestling out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Jenny Rose. Jenny Rose, of course, competed on the very first Future of Honor event. She has been known to team with one of the competitors in this match, uh, and she teamed with Mandy Leone at Supercard of Honor weekend, defeated Faye Jackson, Sumi Sakai. So maybe some bad blood with Jenny Rose and Faye Jackson following that match, Bob. I would say you're right, Ian. Also another international superstar with training over in, in Japan. Uh, Jenny Rose is really probably one of the most improved women of honor I've seen in the past six months. Yeah, Seedling, Diana, of course, that's where she competed. But when you talk about women taking that next step here in Women of Honor, this young woman has to be at the top of the conversation. Participant number four, wrestling out of Brooklyn, New York, the exotic goddess, Mandy Leone. And there you see Mandy Leone, who took the next step in that heated, bloody rivalry with her and Taylor Hendricks. And I don't know if we can get a shot of this, but here at the desk, we see a tarot card that Mandy Leone has given me. Bob, it has the Roman numerals for 13. It has a, a horse with a skull. And she explained to me that this is the card of death. So has she taken that next step, found that next edge in order to propel her into further success here in Women of Honor? Well, we've seen quite a different, I mean, I'm taking a look at quite a different Mandy Leone here. What is, is that? Is that some kind of a, uh, is that blood? Is that yeah, some I, kind of a traditional, I'm not even sure, spiritual? I'm not even sure. I'm a little taken aback by that, Ian. Well, she calls herself the exotic goddess, Mandy Leone. As you see, Deanna not wanting to shake her hand, going for the, the fist pound. They're all three competitors here, very nervous to shake her hand, as we see the code of honor right here, too. And Bob, that's been the topic of conversation, you know. Here in the place of rebirth of yep. Women of Honor, where Deanna Perrazzo and Mandy Leone jump-started things once again two years ago. Mandy Leone, the top of conversation with, with that symbolism. Uh, Mandy Leone has always uh, been, they call her the exotic goddess for a reason, Ian. She's always, 
she's always coming, always up to something new, always up to some kind of new symbolism, some kind of, I think the Taylor Hendricks feud really, really took something out of her, really changed her in a lot of ways, mentally and physically. I think she went to a place of darkness, Bob, Absolutely. to find the tools that she needed to, to really take things to the next level. And taking things to the next level should be Deanna Peraza's middle name. She competed in over 100 independent matchups in 2015, did nearly the same in 2016. And you see her just about everywhere picking up massive victories, Bob. Deanna Perrazzo, I mean, one of, the, one of the things I like most about her is she was trained by one of my mentors, Rip Rogers, and shows that she's a Rip Rogers girl. And here comes Faye using what, oh, oh using what God gave her. I was just going to say that. Deanna now going for the clothesline, goes it through. And wait a minute, looking for the Fuchiwara armbar. Yeah, arm it's bar. hard for a strike too soon there. And a blind tag from Jenny Rose. So he's Jenny Rose in the match for the very first time. Connects oh. with the double clothesline, takes both women down. There you go. But Faye not going all the way down. It's going to take a little bit more than that. I don't think Jenny Rose should be cheering. This is the problem I see sometimes, Ian. Jenny Rose should not be worried about cheering for herself right now. She should be worried about going after a bigger opponent, someone who she hasn't. She's wrestled once, but hasn't wrestled that many times. Yeah, and it's different, I think, one on one, Bob. I think you might be able to speak to this better. When you know you have a partner, the confidence yep. of your partner, it's a little bit different than laying yep. it all on the line in a one on one match. Absolutely. This is a four way. I mean, I've been in four ways, five ways, six ways Two. in Ring of Honor. It's a chaotic scene. You, it's, it's, it's like walking in the middle of traffic with your eyes closed. Whoa. Wait just a minute. Are we going to see a German suplex in? She might try. Faye, though, very smartly breaking the hands, breaking the clasp. Rose using the her center of gravity, dropping it down. Whoa. Let me try this again. Yeah, there you go. There That's you one go. way to get out of it. Faye Jackson, look at that confidence. For a woman that's only been in wrestling for a little over a year, going for the cover one, two. As we've seen in, in just about every aspect of professional wrestling, Ian, confidence takes you a long way. If she doesn't know what she doesn't know, she can't make that mistake. See a wrist lock here, working on that shoulder, the pain also reverberating. The elbow and the wrist. Blind tag made to Mandy Leone. Connects with a kick to the midsection. Mandy sends. Follows up. No, that was. Oh. I think that was a purposeful tag. Yeah, now these two, who we've seen as tag team oh, partners, yeah. do a battle in the center, center of the ring. Multiple attack, kick attack. Yeah, and we've seen these two women compete in Women of Honor matches. Of course, Mandy Leone's very first match was against Jenny Rose at Future of Honor number one. Yep. One, two. Oh, but Bridge is oh. out of it. Jenny Rose using that experience from Japan, like you mentioned earlier, Bob. Absolutely, that all-Japan women bridge. Ooh. Made famous. Look at that dumpster on the back of her head. German. Cover. One, two. two, three, two three. That's always a struggle, Ian. I see it. You want to do the high-angle German suplex like Dalton Castle, but you want to do the fast one that does some quick damage. Sometimes it's better to do a big one with the bridge. Who knows? But she made that decision and she has to live with it. Double axe handle miss. Deanna Perrazzo in. Deanna and Mandy, these two. They're the ones back in Baltimore 2015. Got things really reignited. Now Women of oh, Honor. Right up under the chin. Because of these two, because of our competitors, seen now in over 100 countries. Double clothesline sends both women to the mat, but both very quick back to their feet. Double kicks sends both down. Looks like neither one can gain an advantage. It's like a, it's like a mirror. You got to think these two also trained together at the ROH Dojo. Going to neutral corners here. Probably a smart move if either woman wants to win. Wait a minute. Faye makes the tag. I was just going to say how smart it was because there was a new oh. corner, but Faye. They're going to see stereo action here. Way. And now one for Deanna, maybe? Yep. Yep. Boom. And there's the spin, the triple spun milkshake. We only saw a single spin there. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Jenny might get it. Might get three helpings of the triple spun oh, milkshake, goodness. Bob. Yeah. Oh, going after Deanna again. Oh, Whoa. Do she can't stop. Now what she gets started there it is. by. And this isn't just for show. This is an effective move. It drawing, absolutely is. Drawing that neck oh. and head. But the ole from Mandy Spent there. a lot of time there. Oh, rebound though. Big back elbow. Whoa, she, is she going to the top Again, up? this is where the charisma kind of takes over, having, maybe having too much fun. Jenny Rose follows her in. And Mandy, here comes Deanna. Super bomb! Perfectly legal in these matches, Ian. Cover! One, 
And Deanna is the legal woman with Faye here. These two who were friends were seeing that killer instinct from Mandy here. Wheelbarrow Bulldog. Spinning side slam. Jenny Rose now. Faye back to her feet. Whoa! Oh, there you go. Spear! The legal women are still Faye and Deanna. Come on! Now Faye's gonna follow up. Mandy connects on prettier. Uh oh. Deanna, Deanna has to wiggle out. Oh, side rush and leg sweep. And wait just a minute, Bob rolls through. And there it is! There it Put is. your arm bar! Turn off the lights! Lock the door! Closing time! Deanna That's got it! it. The match by submission, Deanna Perazzo. And add Faye Jackson to the list of victims for Deanna Perazzo's Fujiwara, a list that includes Sumi Sakai and Candice LeRae. Deanna on a roll here in Women of Honor. The list gets longer and longer, and guess who's in her path, Ian? Kelly Klein is in her path. I can't wait to see those two rip each other apart. Two of my favorite people in Women of Honor, but I, I just, I love it and I hate it at the same time, but I want to see those two collide. Yeah, Deanna petitioning for that rematch. We saw her tap out Kelly Klein at Supercard of Honor. Seeing Mandy in the ring. Code of Honor. These two women have a lot of respect for each other. Your winner here tonight, William J. Myers Pavilion in Baltimore. Deanna Perrazzo for Brutal Bob Evans, Ian Riccoboni. Women of Honor Wednesday concludes, but we know you'll join us next week, so see you then. <laughs>